Hello again everyone, Lucas Gillespie here with the Wow in School project. Uh, I've got another video tutorial for you. We're just going to talk a little bit about the chat window. So let me give you a brief tour of the chat window and then we'll talk about the different ways that you can use it. There are two different tabs by default on the chat window. One is the general tab and this contains all the communication, various people, uh, and system messages that come across in the game. You can scroll up and down by using these arrows here, and if you want to jump quickly to the bottom, if you've scrolled up quite a bit, just click this button here, and that'll take you to the bottom of your chat window. This other tab is the combat log. Uh, the combat log actually contains all the data from your interactions and fights and things like that in the game, so lots of information about spell casting and swinging and missing and hitting and things like that with your different weapons and all. So if you really want to get in and crunch numbers and look at how the last fight or the last battle that you were in went, um, this is the place to look for that information. Alright, so let's switch back to the general tab and talk about it. So let's say um, I actually want to communicate with someone. How do I do that? Well, the first thing you want to do is hit your enter key, and that's going to bring up your little chat bar here where I can actually say something. Okay, so I'm just going to say hello. Now, the channel that I just said that in was the say channel. Say means that anyone standing around me, whether I know them or whether they're in a group or my guild or anything like that, anyone around me within a short radius could hear that, and they could hear me say hello. So it's considered really a public channel. Okay, there are other channels in the game as well. If I'm in a party, for example, or a group, like I am here, you see that I'm grouped with two other people, I can communicate with just them. There's a couple ways to change your channel. I can either um, click on this little bubble here and select party chat, or I can simply hit enter or click here and type slash P, and then when I hit space, it automatically switches me to party chat. So either way is, is fine, whatever is your preference. And I can type like this, and everyone in my party will see that message. You'll notice that it's a different color, and it tells me that this is party chat. So I can differentiate it from other types of communication. All right, there are other kinds of communication that you'll use as well. So let's look at those. Uh, raids are for really large groups of people, and that's usually at higher levels in the game, so you probably won't get into those until later on in your experiences. Battleground, or slash BG, is for communication in battlegrounds. This is, these are places where you go to play against other players. Okay, so slash BG is for communicating in that. Guild chat, this is one you'll probably use quite a bit, and this is so that you can communicate with your guild. So everyone in your guild will see these messages. And so there's two ways to do that. Again, either click that bubble or type slash G. And, and you can communicate with your guild. And by doing that, that message will show up. And anybody who's in my guild, that message will show up in their channel. All right. Let's look at some of the other options here. There are ways to send private messages. So let me show you how that works. So Merit here, um, who is in my guild, has just responded to me. And let's say I want to communicate with her and ask her if she would like to group up to go do a dungeon or something like that. So I'm going to slash W, which means whisper, and then type her name. That's one way of doing it and hit space. Notice that then says, tell Merit. Okay? There's other ways I can do that as well. I can actually right-click on her name in the group, or the chat window rather, and I get certain options here as well. So I can click Whisper, and it'll automatically say, tell Merit. And then I could say, hey, let's go do a dungeon together. Yeah, I'm not actually going to do that because she's busy right now um, with something else, so we're not going to do that. Okay, um, so to quit your communication or to turn that chat bar off, I just hit enter, and I can move around again like this. So you may notice if, if, if you're really new to this and, and you've been communicating with someone and you're using your WASD keys and you have that chat bar up and you're like, well, I'm hitting W, why am I not going forward or, or why can't I turn around or go backwards? Well, the reason is your chat window is open and you're actually typing in WAS and D. So clear that out.
close your chat window and you can once again begin to move around. Okay, let's look at a couple other things that your chat window can do as well. Let me close, actually switch to say. All right, let me show you a couple other things. Emotes. Emotes are ways of communicating. Uh, it's that nonverbal communication piece. Emotes will make your character do certain things, um, move around in certain ways, and actually puts a script in the chat window that says what they're doing. For example, uh, let's make Pantigo here laugh. So I'm going to click that. You'll notice he's laughing. You can hear it. It also says, you laugh. People around me would see Pantigo laughs. Okay? This just adds to the vibrant, realistic nature of the world. Okay? There's all kinds of emotes here, so spend some time um, exploring those. They're really fun. Um, chicken, for example, a lot of fun. <laughs> so, take a look at those. They're a lot of fun. Um, you can also, you'll notice that it gives you the keyboard shortcuts for all of these things as you mouse over them. So, if I don't want to actually click emote and then click sleep, I can actually just type in forward slash sleep and my character will do that. Okay. So let's talk about a couple other things about how you can customize this window. If you right click the general tab, you can make lots of customizations to the window. But before you can do that, you have to unlock it. If you don't like where this window is showing up on your screen, unlock it and then I can move it around on my screen. Now I do recommend once you get it uh, where you want it, and you can resize it by clicking and dragging that little corner tab there, but once you get it where you want it, um, I do recommend going back and locking the window because in the heat of combat or in all that action, you may click it and drag something or change a setting and you don't want that to happen. <clears throat> Hello, Cal. All right. Um, you can also create custom windows. Um, so for, let's say you want your guild chat to appear in a special window all by itself. Well, that's a fairly easy thing to do. Just right click on the general window here and click this option that says create new window. Now I'm going to be prompted to enter a new window for that so let's call that guild chat. You could put whatever kind of communication you want in there. And I'm going to click accept and you'll notice that it gives me a brand new tab down here now called guild chat. Alright so now I need to customize it and tell it all I want here is guild chat. So I'm going to right click and I'm going to come down to settings for that. Currently, this window is set to display Say, Yell, Guild Chat, Whisper, Real ID, Parties, and Party Leaders. Well, I only want it to show Guild Communications. So I'm going to uncheck all of those things, and I'm going to click OK. So now, anytime someone says something in Guild, if I switch over here, you'll notice that, aha, there it shows up in the Guild Chat window as well. Um, if you want to keep those things, those separate windows out uh, where you can see them, you can simply unlock the windows, drag that out, and place it wherever you want to on the screen. Okay, and again, resize it and all that. If you want to put it back, you just move it down here until you see that little bright line appear. Watch as I move it in here. And once you get, you see that little bright line, you can let go, and it'll dock itself back into the chat window. Again, be sure to lock it before you get done. Oh, great. And someone has challenged me to a duel. So I guess that's a good point to end. Uh, thank you for watching. Bye-bye. Wish me luck.